oh, 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 oh. Merry Christmas, everybody. How are you guys doing? Hope everybody's having a great Christmas and I hope everybody's having a good new year as well. And yes, it is still, it is Christmas, but I am still working, you know? Your boy trying to get to the big time. We trying to get to the thousand, to the 10,000, to, to the millions, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we gon' we gonna, we gonna get out there, you know? That's why I'm working so hard, even on Christmas, because I wanna give you guys this good content too. And I think we got something important to talk about. And that is Boruto. Will he be the next main villain in the Naruto-verse? I know it's crazy to even think about. It's crazy to even talk about. But given what happened in last week's chapter, chapter 53, that was spearheaded or taken over now by Kishimoto, original, the original author who made Naruto in the first place. Given what happened, and oh, I'm sorry, guys. This is spoilers, okay? So if you haven't read the manga, please do not watch this video until you read up to that chapter and then come back and then we can talk about it, all right? All right. So, last chapter, uh, Kaiwaki tricked Ishiki and Ishiki was killed off and defeated. Which was a very cool moment for Kaiwaki. That was very dope. I actually like Kaiwaki more than I did when he first appeared. And he's been going through a lot of character development ever since then. So I really do rock with Kaiwaki. And that was a very big moment for him. This dude tricked the guy on some supernatural Dean and Sam Winchester type shit. Yes, I watched that show too. It's awesome. So in a shock... Naruto, well, Momoshiki taking over Naruto's body comes from behind and stabs Sasuke in the eye and getting ready to kill the rest of them. So, the, so there's a lot of questions to be answered here. I mean, to be asked. One, well, I'm going to get to the Sasuke part in a second. I'm going to get to that part. You know, let's, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Baruto, right? So I don't know what's gonna happen after this, but I theorize that Baruto will be a main villain after this arc. Or he's working his way up to it. And I'm saying this because of what happened in the last chapter. So Momoshiki taking over Baruto like that, he's done that before when um, the gang fought Bora. So it's important for Momo that Boruto stays alive so he's able to come back as in Suzuki. What I didn't know was that Momoshiki could take over at any time. Now, I don't know if that's the case now. It seems to be only the case when Naruto, I mean Naruto, when Boruto gets knocked out. But what if Momoshiki is able to do it whenever he feels like it? And if that's the case, then that means that Boruto cannot stay in the village. I have a hard time believing that Boruto will willingly stay in the village knowing that this dude can kill any one of his family members or anybody in the village he cares about at any given time. That's dangerous. So, I feel like he's going to leave the village before this time. Because I feel like, I, I believe that Kishimoto said there's going to be a time skip. I might be wrong about that. If I am, let me know in the comments below. But if there is going to be a time skip, I feel like Boruto is going to leave before that time skip. But if Boruto, if, if Sa I'm sorry, if Sasuke does die from here, can you imagine how much guilt he's going to feel? Dude, like, remember, he has to look Sakura in the eye. Sakura has to look him Boruto in the eye too. And either um, Sarada's gonna leave Team 7 or she's gonna set out to kill Boruto. Knowing that it wasn't his fault because it was the Asuski, she still feels like, yo, she not gonna hear that. Like, yo, you killed my father. 
I'm gonna kill you. So that's a possibility too. Like I tell you, like, I'll be honest with you, that was done really well the way they did it. Cause that can go into a whole bunch of different other things. And it lines up with the future when we see Paul Tomo and Kaiwaki going at it in the future. It could be like the roles could be different, you know? It could actually be Boruto leaving the village. Not because he wants to destroy people, but just because to keep them safe, he's going to leave the village like Sasuke did for an opposite reason. And Kaiwaki will be in Naruto's position, or Naruto's role, if you will, trying to save Boruto, trying to get him to come back to the village. Which would be pretty dope because that's so opposite from what happened from before. With Naruto and Sasuke as children up until Shippuden. And I say Kaiwaki, and it seems like to me Kaiwaki is going into Naruto's role because of what he's done in this chapter. Dude was able to trick um, Momoshiki by using shadow clones, bro. Shadow clones. And he's using that because that's what Bar I mean, that's what Naruto uses. And he idolizes Bar I mean, Naruto. Like a father. He, he thinks of him as a father. You know, so he wants to go in his path. So that's why so that's why I feel like from those instances that we got from him and his backstory, I feel like he is going to be in Naruto's role. So when the future does happen, it's actually gonna be Kaiwaki saving the village, trying to save the village. And you have Baruto who's taken over by Momushiki. The actual one that's taken over by um Anisuski, who we thought who I thought too was Kaiwaki, and that's why Boruto was there fighting him. But what if it's Boruto that's taken over by Natsuki, and Kaiwaki has to fight Boruto because Momoshiki has taken over Boruto completely, and he's trying to save the village. And Boruto, Boruto or oh, we want to call him Boruto Shiki. Actually, one of my uh, one of my uh, followers. Um, subscribers he actually i forgot who it was but i'm gonna i'm gonna check your name though um he's the actually one that that named it that so that's cool so hopefully i can find him and i can put him up on the screen so i can give him his props but um uh borrow to borrow shiki that's that's what we gonna call him now <laughs> so borrow shiki is the one that's destroyed the village that we've seen in that future so that's a big possibility too but if i'm not mistaken Somehow, um, Kaiwaki got his uh, karma back. We don't know how that happened either. So he could have got it from another Ususki, so there may be another Ususki out there at play too. Or maybe, maybe in a Nine Tails Karama situation, maybe the good part of Momoshiki and this and was split. Yeah, maybe there might be a split and. Now Boruto has the bad side of um, Momoshiki, and uh, Bar uh, Kawaki has the good side, and those two are fighting each other. So that could be a possibility too. Who no. knows? So let's get on the Sasuke topic for a second too, because I want to talk about that as well. So ever since Boruto began, I want to say. I want to. Damn, that one's powerful. I want to say mid, yeah, like after after Naruto and Sasuke defeated Momoshiki, fought Momoshiki or defeated him, whatever you want to call it, I feel like after that, they nerfed Sasuke like crazy. Like there was an episode in the anime where Sasuke and Boruto went back in time and met Jiraiya and uh, little Naruto back then and they fought this guard and they fought that garbage ass uh Momo uh um Osuski. I forgot his name. He had a cool design, but I forgot his name. The one with the uh the, the one with the fishing hooks. I don't know what the fuck it was, but the one with the the one that had the uh the the, the fishing rod and he could fish out chakra and shit. And Sasuke was getting beat by him and I wasn't understanding that. Like he can't be more powerful than Momoshiki. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I don't know. Because he was taking nails by him. And now he's taking nails by uh, uh, Ishiki. Which 
Only thing he can do is make things bigger and smaller. So he must be stronger than Momoshiki and the garbage one, Dosuski, by a lot. Because Momoshiki didn't even come out until this dude was defeated. So that speaks volumes in itself. But I digress. The point of it is they didn't nerf my boy Sasuke a lot. And I, I and that part I didn't like. I understand why they did it because you need people to take on the two most powerfulest ninjas in the world. I think they're shit. Both of them themselves, they're planet busters, if you want to call it that. Yeah, that. Yeah, both of them are planet busters. So they can destroy the earth if they wanted to, you know? Like I think in Naruto the last, you had Naruto punch and Asuski so hard. The fucking the, the moon cracked up or some or part of the moon or something like that. So these are planet buzzers right here. They, they, these are the most dangerous people in the world. So I get that you gotta like kind of job them a little bit, but not to that much though. You know, don't don't do that. But I tell you what though, I'm glad it was Momo Shiki that did it and not uh Shiki. That I'm glad for, and I'm glad for that because. These are the same dudes that defeated him. So you know he's looking for blood. And he already incapacitated one of his adversaries. So now he now Sasuke can't switch places like he used to anymore. Can't do that power anymore. Can't use a Renegade. At least I don't think so. We don't, I don't know if he's able to do that. I'm not sure yet. Because I don't know if he's ever gonna get his eye back. I don't know. I don't even know if he's gonna be dead at this point. Which would make sense because all of those points that we've been seeing from the show and in the manga kind of leads to that. There was one point in the chapter, I believe, where Sasuke gave Boruto his headband right before they went into battle, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And that was like a few chapters ago. So the writing's been on the wall for either Boruto or, I mean, for Naruto or Sasuke, but it seems like Sasuke is going to die either sooner or later. And if Bar and if Sasuke dies first, then that means that Naruto is going to follow right after him. And that could be because Momoshiki came out and tried to kill him too. That's possible. Either way, it's going to be a crazy ass ride. So yeah, so that's why I really feel like Nar Baruto is going to be the main villain of the series going forward, probably after the time skip if they have one. And to be honest, I, I'm excited for that, man. I, it's, it's narratively is gonna be so dope, you know. Ah, to have to have a Naruto son to build. That's like a reverse Anakin and uh, Luke situation. Darth Vader and Luke. It's the reverse situation. That is so freaking dope. Oh, I can't wait. All right, guys. So that was my theory discussion. This is I, I like I actually like doing this. This was pretty cool. I'm probably gonna do a I'm probably gonna do more depending on how you guys like the video. So I really hope you give this video a lot of likes. All right, give it a lot of likes. Smash that like button. Definitely smash that subscribe button and click on them notification bells too. And comment, let me know what you guys think. Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm crazy? Do you think I'm educated? What's, 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 what's the deal? Let me know in the comments below and let me know what you thought about the video as well. All right guys, so that's my time. Thank you guys. Merry Christmas. Be safe. Deuce.